Oh, friggin' rights boys, welcome back to another episode of TSC for friggin' my snacks. Friggin', um, you got some good beauty sleep this morning, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, and this bad. afternoon. Not too bad. A little bit, eh? For fuck's sakes. But, um, yeah, I don't know what to do, boys. Fucking, if he's a mean to him, don't work. You know what I mean? Maybe he's one of those ones that needs to get hit. And he's start hitting you. You know what I'm saying? Start talking about? Hmm? Okay. Fuck sakes, Josh. We just fucking smash him. Anyways, let's spin the wheel. We did a big jump today. Uh, uh, the club, club foot Billy fucking brought over a fucking victim or his buddy <laughs> and uh, stove piped his sister. He did. But, uh, any words? I've got two in one here. We've got a whole fuck a pile of dicks, so we better get into the accordance. One out and uh, cut wood with the codger this morning, big time. I guess we didn't cut it, we just fucking loaded it and stuff, but. Bring my bar. I don't know if I can. <coughs> oh, that was the wrong one. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit! You can dig her? I got one. <coughs> you did. Holy fuck, I gotta sing myself. Shattered it. Oh. Well, two and one ain't gonna work because fucking. Fuck it. Anyways, we got fucking uh, Defunky Monkey says, uh, Pug, it's good that you help people out when, help people out even if your baby carrot gets a, gets bit sometimes. Uh, lots of good to you. I know that you don't like talking about past goofs, so who can us Richards ask about without getting your neck? Uh, nosy dicks want to know. Uh, I know that the fucking shatter addiction makes it hard, uh, but could you please just smoke some kind bud? I like that kind. Uh, hope your baby pug gets better. Salad to Buddy Van Doodle, Cheech at Stovepipe. Uh, he continues on to say, Pug, yep, I'm writing more. I uh, wanted to tell all the dicks out there to write in, cuz I'm selfish prick and like to see you just get chazzled and tell stories about your youth in jails, jail times, cuz I like that kind and laugh my butt off. There are thousands of subscribers and I see hundreds of viewers when I watch as soon as you load them. So all you dicks do like I did and write in so Pug does, doesn't do a 10 minute show for fuck's sakes. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, I could tell you a story about this one time that I was in prison. Um, there was this, <clears throat> like, he used to be able to smoke cigarettes in prison, right? So it's like, I had, like, I don't know, I'd smoke so many cigarettes that I would get, like, fucking a hurting chest real bad. So then I would, like, stop smoking cigarettes for a couple weeks. And, and then, like, I'd give guys packs of cigarettes for two for ones a lot of times. Sometimes if they were my friend, I'd just give them a pack and they'd give me a pack back. But most of the time, two for one. And, um,. So I had lots of packs of cigarettes anyway, so, so we went to Birch and it was this jail that was like just dorms, big fucking dorms, and uh, you know, there was all kinds of dope there and stuff because it had open visits and this and that and everything else and fucking uh, stuff like that, so this one guy had these, this, these fucking hash oil fucking papers and I was like, yeah, whatever, this and that, and he's like, oh, you know, fucking, I was getting like a pack of smokes for two fucking oilers or whatever and fucking and he well, he was gonna give me like one oiler for a pack of cigarettes and he's like oh but this is like way better shit blah blah, blah. whatever man I just want to smoke a joint so fuck and I give this guy a pack of smokes he gives me his paper and it's there's fucking nothing on it it's, there's nothing on it so I'm like holy fuck I roll this fucking thing up with some tobaccos and I sit at my fucking bunk and I smoke it and I just get dicked or whatever so as any words we you know I start getting this fucking 
oil off this guy or whatever. So fucking, he tells me, like, I got, like, fucking two weeks left. So it's like, I'm going home. You know what I mean? And fucking, this guy is not going home for a minute. So he's got all kind of time to fuck around and, you know, shyster people and just scam and this and that. And he's totally a fucking shyster goof, right? So it's fucking, I was, you know, I was like, oh, fuck. But he was like, oh, fucking get somebody to put 50 bucks in my account so that I can bring more dope in. And then I'll give you a great big chunk of this hash that I'm, I'm getting brought in. Fucking, you know, when, when the fucking get the visit or whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever. So, was, you know, I fuck all fucking, no, I'll drop 50 bucks off this account, blah, blah, blah. So I was fucking right on. So fucking, buddy gets his visit. And he's just such a fucking cocky fucking piece of shit goof. Like, I know fucking exactly how it went down without even being there because I just know this fucking guy and he's such a fucking asshole. So, in the visits, you got like, you gotta put on coveralls that zip right up to your fucking neck and they're fucking, you know, and you see, you can't like start sticking stuff in your butthole. They're, they're like, you know, closed off or whatever. So, in other words, here, give us a spin. This fucking guy gets a visit. He's, you know, and he's probably like, some bitch probably like farted this shit out of her fucking snapper or something. And then goes to give it to him, and, he, and you know what I mean, and fucking, he's, she's probably like, oh, what do you, how do you want to do this, she's just like, give me this fucking thing, you know what I mean, and then fucking, they totally saunt him, and put him in the hole, so then now, they, they put him in the hole until he shits out the hash, you're not getting out of the hole until we get the, you know what I mean, until you shit like 14 times, and we get whatever the fuck you're shitting out, and your words fucking, so, you know, I got like, you know, days left at this fucking point and he wants to like pick a fight with me and he's going around saying that I ratted him out and that's how he fucking got busted so it's like now he's giving me no fucking choice right so my one friend you know he's long since a fucking goof now but fucking uh, I made the mistake of giving this guy my phone number when I was in jail and like even still to this day like I you know I don't think I've gotten a call from him this year but you know I mean just the fucking <coughs> most biggest shyster fucking goof in the whole fucking world eh? but anyways fucking that's a different story but so that guy comes up to me and he's like, oh man, fucking, you know, don't go downstairs because fucking, you know, buddy's going to fucking dummy you or something. I'm like, buddy's going to dummy me? What the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, oh, fuck, he's going around saying that you ratted him out and that's why he got by. And I'm like, holy fuck, are you fucking serious and shit? And he's like, oh, I know you didn't do it and shit and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, fucking obviously I gave the guy 50 fucking dollars to bring me some fucking hash and fucking... If, if I ratted the fucking guy out, I'd be like, what the fuck what kind of fucking sense does that fucking make, right? But, you know, he's like, now he owes me 50 bucks. He got busted with the fucking hash, now he owes me 50 bucks. So he's got to, like, come up with something or else he's the goof, right? So, all right, whatever. So pause the vibe. Still by. So, of course, I don't want to fight because I'm fucking, you know, days away from getting out. But fucking, you know, I can't fucking do the next couple days. <coughs> we, you know, go to sleep in a dorm with fucking, you know, 80 other fucking people when they think I'm a fucking rat, right? So it's like you can't not fucking <coughs> just let a guy call you rat. Can't let a guy call you rat in jail or goof. You can't. It's just, you know, way of the range. <coughs> so anyways, but, you know, I just go downstairs. There's like two fucking rooms. One had like two pool tables and then the TV room. The other one had like a bunch of card tables in the TV room. One was like movies, one was sports. So me and this other dick are in the movies room and I'm just sitting there fucking watching TV and it's glass front, the TV's right in the wall. So I see this fucking guy coming with another guy and the other guy sits down at the table and the fucking dude comes fucking walking in and he stands right up in front of me and, and he's like, uh, he's like, you know what I'm gonna do? And before I could even say anything, he just punched me in the face. So I like fucking got up and I took my glasses off all out, you know, I just fucking like went like that and stood up and fucking, you know, and he kind of fucking this and that. And I just fucking smashed him in the face as hard as I fucking could. And he kind of staggered back and this and that and, and you know, he's standing there like this and blood's just fucking pouring out of his face. And, he, and he's like, are you done? And I'm like, yeah, man. 
And he's like, this and that about fuck blah, blah, blah. And, and then he turned around and fucking, you know, deked or whatever. And, you know, of course, I got like a little mark. It would, you couldn't tell from the outside, but I had like a little mark on the inside of my lip. So Buddy comes down that was like, you know, the dude that I gave my phone number to and shit or whatever. And he comes down and he's like, look, he's like, oh, fuck Buddy. He's going, he said he just punched you out and stuff. He didn't fucking punch me out. He punched me in the mouth and I fucking punched him back and... He asked me if I wanted any more, and I said no, and fucking he took off. For fuck's sake, I, I don't want to fight. I'm getting out in two fucking days. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit. I spent the fucking nine months or however the fuck long I was in there without getting into a fight. And this fucking asshole, because he, you know, because I'm getting out soon, fucking wants to wreck it for me or so. I don't know what the fucking motive behind it was, but fucking just fucking devastated this fucking piece of shit's nose I did. Hey? You fucking goof. But, uh, do we do the positive? Yeah. Are you done? So, in other words, yeah, there's a fucking story for you, bud. And, to top it the fuck off, I fucking, I go to get released. I'm like, yep, yeah, okay, fuck this goof place. I'm out of here the night before. You know, they want you to hand in your library books to the fucking bubble and shit. You know, I'm fucking this and that. So, I hand on my life. I'm like, oh, yeah, fucking getting out tomorrow. Fuck this place. You know what I mean? Blah, blah, So, then they call me back to the bubble at like 11 o'clock at night. They're like, oh, you're saying something about getting out tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, we don't have you on the list or fuck on. I'm like, you're fucking with me, man. And fucking this and that. And I'm like, holy fuck. So I go through my shit. I find my piece of paper. Shit, like, look it. There's my fucking release date, bud. Like, they're telling me it's like December. It was like September fucking 15th. And they're telling me, oh, it's December 29th or something. I was like, holy fuck, man. You are fucking out of your fucking gourd. So fucking, you know, they get it fucking figured out or something. My grandpa comes to pick me up. And he's there at 8 in the morning, and it's not, you know, 2 in the afternoon they fucking let me out, eh? Just a fucking shit show. Every fucking, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. If it involves me, cocked over. One time I fucking got gated from Exeter, did my fucking bet, totally fucking out. I pled guilty, you know, in St. Thomas, and then Sarnia wanted to charge me with the same thing that I already pled guilty and did the time for. So as I get gated, brought to Sarnia, have to go to court, blah, 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 spend the night in the fucking Sarnia bucket, this and that, a whole bunch of horseshit, just to go in front of the judge, for the judge to say, oh, fuck, you know, you can't charge you two times for the same thing, have a good one. It's like, right on, you fucking pile of shit, you know what I mean? Like, just fucking goofs, but, anyways. <clears throat> Anyways, Randall Landall says, holy fuck, bud, I ate a bunch of dabs last Saturday, and I'm just fucking recovering now, for fuck's sakes. Uh, ever try snaps mixed with the dabs? Stole pipes your sister. Chooch. Fucking uh, Nick the Dicker Dick says, uh, hey, Pug and Buddy Van Doodle and Pug's old lady, first time dick, long time viewer from Nova Scotia, just want to say, keep up the dickerness. Uh, and ask a couple questions. Uh, when does Nelson's fucking vid go on Swearnet? Joined a month ago and was hoping it's up soon. I can't wait to see Nelson finally cut loose. Take her easy. Chooch it. Buddy Van Doodle's beard. Bleach it to clean it. And can I get a stovepipe pug old school style? Let me get a stovepipe! Like that? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. But in other words, um, well, it isn't going to be in the next minute because I still have the footage in my possession. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be an issue. Uh, so once they get their footage, then they can, you know, fuck around with it. But I mean, there's no minutes. Really. Yeah, I mean, there's five or six, at least five or six videos between you know, the fucking, you know, there's the wheel, I mean, you know, the, the episode of the wheels on now, or whatever, that's episode two, the fucking wheel of misfortune, or yeah. whatever, so friggin' rights for that, but, uh, that's pretty, you know, it's pretty good, you know, they, like, I send them the shit, and then they edit the fuck out of it, and, and, you know what I mean, like, I kind of was doing some editing at first, because that was just, like, sort of, like, the testies episodes, but, like, you know, I basically just stab clips together, I can't, you know, I can't do the fanty pant shit. You know what I mean? Like, they're changing voices and doing all kind of shit. Like, you know, taking voice clips to this and that so they can, you know, shorten it up, make it make more sense, switch things around. You know what I mean? Like, fucking kind of cut bits out that, you know, like I, my videos tend to be longer than they really need to be because 
you know, I, I don't know, I just fucking, I'm decked. I'm like, nobody taught me how to make movies, I just fucking make movies for fuck's sakes, you know what I mean? I, I just do it the way that I fucking do it, and you know, I'm fucking... People are like, holy fuck, you're a goof for making fucking 97 slow-mo, fast-forward, rewind fucking shots in your dump movies so I don't do stupid shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, you learn by whatever, you know what I mean? But speaking of fucking learning by whatever, holy fuck, remind me never to fucking upload a fucking dumpster fucking video again. I don't know what the fucking problem could possibly <laughs> fucking be. Yeah. Holy fuck. Fucking shit! Like, not one fucking person that commented on that video has a fucking clue what they're talking about. At all. At all. None of them. And it's hilarious. I mean, we sat there just howling at some of these motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> like, this one guy's like, fucking this and that about you fucking got him to put the bin there and now you're fucking it's like fucking what I don't remember ever saying oh look at this bit it's like okay listen don't you think there would have been a video of the bin showing up there if I was the one who got the fucking bin to fucking show up there and if I was the one who fucking told this guy to put the fucking bin there maybe there'd be a video about the bin showing up Hmm, let's think about this for a second. Pug one says something going on that we haven't seen before, but we're going to assume that we know everything about it. That was last year. But this is the first year I even something about it. So how in the flying fuck <laughs> could you possibly even think? That you fucking know what the fuck's going on. And, by the way, my channels are mostly about jokes and having a good time and funny stuff. I don't know if you notice that or not. Like, fucking, you know, if you're going to fucking subscribe to a channel, you should probably kind of fucking be on at least the similar fucking wavelength to the fucking dick. You know, at least have somewhat of a similar laughability factor. But, yeah, I don't know. People exactly. just fuck. Yeah, it's like, holy fucking shit, man. It's like one guy says, fuck, you could have told the guy to stop, fucking this and that. As soon as he started hitting the fence, I'm like, whoa, bud, this and that. I mean, his fucking window's right there. I'm standing, you know, 10 feet away from the guy's front fucking window, 15 maybe. And if there was going to be a big deal made of it, it would have been right there and then. <laughs> yeah. If they knew you at all. <laughs> Holy fuck, man, the fucking... The, the top board got pulled out of the fucking, the like, fence hanger fucking stupid little metal square thing. Pull it over, put it back in, screw, I don't even think they put a screw in it, they just like put it back on there and kind of jammed it back together. But like, holy fuck man, talk about just fucking full blown fucking goofs, it's like, I, I don't even do fucking even get it. How in the world? Yeah, like, how do you exist? You can't watch a video and clearly see what is even happening. Just fucking idiots. I don't claim to be the fucking sharpest fucking bulb in the bush, but like, holy fucking shit, man. Like, you know, some of the fucking people who commented on that fucking, on that fucking dumpster video, like, okay, first of all, it's called how to cause several hundred thousand dollars damage in five minutes. Both the fucking properties, mine and my neighbors, combined, are not worth several hundred thousand dollars. Like maybe, maybe 250 in total, both the fucking properties. Max! Like fucking max, like, you know, and really the neighbor's house is just fucking garbage, so like, I mean, you, you'd be fuck yeah. I mean, you'd be, you'd be better off just bulldozing to build a fucking new one. It's a nice wide, double wide lot, seventy-one feet. I only got forty feet by one hundred and twenty. He's got seventy-one by one hundred and twenty. You know, just fucking bitched about the fucking. Oh man, fuck. Anyways, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. But uh, stove, oh, ghost stab for fuck's sake, Joshua. That's gonna fucking kill me. I better get a couple dicks out of the words. I apologize. 
I apologize, but fuck, man. You should go read some of the fucking comments on that video and try to tell me that any fucking one of them makes any fucking sense whatsoever. ever. I mean, there's a couple people that are like, you know, holy fuck, what the fuck is with all the goofs and shit? And it's like, you know, those people kind of fucking make some sense. But, you know, I don't know. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Like, I had some shit to do. Like, I had to, I had some shit to do, right? So it's like I fucking didn't have time. I was, like, doing some shit with my Peter, and it took longer than I thought, and then this and that, and I thought I had time, but I never. So it's like I got all these backup videos that I got into accordance to just in case so I still got fucking movies to put up every fucking day for you guys, but, you know, fuck, I apologize. You know, I fucking apologize. Ooh, you know, maybe I should talk like everybody else is like, Oh, sir, excuse me, sir, you're, you're bumping into my fence a little bit, man. I'm making a YouTube movie and stuff, and then like, okay, stop, stop, you're bumping into my fence, oh no, or, like, I don't know, what should I have done? I don't know, what should I have done different? Followed his dad home and... Banged him out, yeah, like, maybe I should have just banged him out, oh, bud, you hit the fence, and just fucking tuned him fucking right out in the driveways, eh? Oh, my new moats, my new ones, fuck, I didn't even, you know, really, I made the video a year ago, and I didn't watch it or fuck all, I just put it fucking live, and then I'm reading the comments, I'm like, fuck, maybe I, I, fuck, I better watch this fucking video again, because I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I can't fathom me fucking, like, maybe, maybe I am a goof, I watch it. Nope, clearly fucking joking, nope, yeah, clearly fucking giving zero fucks, clearly just making a YouTube movie. Yeah, I don't know. I watched the whole thing. Clearly, I'm just making a YouTube movie. Obvious as fucking day, but mm, I don't know. Maybe fucking things are, you know, when you when you fucking have at least a little t twinkle of fucking something going on in your fucking skull that, you know, maybe, maybe it makes, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got too many twinkles going on in my skull. Maybe that's what it is. Mm. Maybe your average fucking cigarettes twinkles are butted right the fuck out or something. I don't know. To me, it was an obvious fucking funny fucking video, and I thought, you know, if I call it how to cause several hundred thousand dollars damage, and this and that, it might, you know, fuck, holy shit, and then people would think, oh, this is fucking hilarious, I'm gonna fucking share it with my friends and stuff, and the guy's kind of saying some funny stuff to that fucking truck driver, oh, we're, we're just taking evidence, because, like, Buddy's, like, thinking whatever, I don't know, he's like, holy fuck, like, better take pictures of, like, the damage that was caused by this bin. He didn't even drop the fucking thing off, he was just picking it up, and if I was there when it was getting dropped off, I would have made a fucking video, too. And if I got the guy to drop the pin off, I would have been there. Ugh. Sick myself. How about that? Anyway, it's fucking, uh... Ugh. Oh, buddy, can you smell that? I apologize. That smells like fucking dirty diapers. What happened? I just came across this little thing and it says, Have you ever met a hater doing better than you? Me neither. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what the fucking problem is, man. It's like, fuck it. Everybody I just wants know. to say you're uh, the big dumb goof always and can't mm -hmm. see for what it actually is. Yeah, pretty fucking stupid, but whatever. I mean, it's all fucking Thanks money in the bank. Like, no shit. I mean, all it is is just fucking more money for Pug One. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Like, every time you go back and argue hundreds of times on my shit, that's just more numbers in my thing, whether it's thumbs down, thumbs up, fucking, you know, it's comments, it's views, it's fucking thumbs ups and thumbs downs, you know, whether it's got fucking a shitload of thumbs ups or a shitload of thumbs downs, it's still activity on my shit. Thank you. I appreciate it. Big time. It's what pays the bills. So, your, your welfare pays the bills. Disability checks, bud. Yeah, my disability checks from fast and loud and fucking... Not that we fucking... have, like, a non-cookie-cutter fucking type of way of paying... <coughs> yeah, maybe I should, I should go out. Hmm. Maybe I should go out and get a job where I'll make not even a third of what I make right now. Never have to use your brain. Yeah, and then I can just robot do, oh, I will pour this into a cup, stir, oh, you didn't want it stirred, uh, is that okay? Holy fuck, and you want a raise, and you want more money. How about you fucking pay me? How about that, you fuck? You know, just fucking dicked. But yeah, little rant for you, apologize.
and uh, just stickered, just stickered way up here. Oh, just sticker 97. Fucking uh, hey, Pug. I was wondering if you have ever thought of using the GoPro on the table for the THC to get some awesome shots of the chooch. And then use picture in picture, so us to shot. Uh, also, how about a good old prison story? Oh, fuck, you missed it. That was a good one, man. Mm -hmm. Right? About punching the guy in the face and then he didn't want to fight anymore, but then. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, and tell Joshua to jump off the camera tower onto the yard in accordance to break his back and then get his chooch car and stops slacking off about it. Beg my part, chooch your big time butt. Well, why wouldn't you just do a great big huge jump and then fucking. That'd be way more awesome than just jumping off the fucking camera tower for fuck's sakes. Better for yourself. But Ghetto Hillbilly One says, uh, get a kick out of these vids. You and Doodle on that coach remind me of Beavis and Butthead all growing up and getting dicker, beg my part. Fucking Shattered Pants says, ha ha, just catching up on a few THCs. Fucking, uh, I have a request for a creative dick out there. Can someone please auto tune a remix of Pug's Rant in a uh, new drug called Shatter? for all our entertainment. Maybe Skaven could do something like that. Maybe Skaven could like auto-tune my rant about the Shatter, the new drug called Shatter, a little song to it stuff. That'd be kind of hilarious, eh? <laughs> you know? That'd be fun. Give you some credits in the fucking stovepipe or something for it anyways. Fucking Buddy Van Doodle fucking jack you If you jack off Skaven, if you're it, so it makes a song. Yeah. Go well, jack you off. Longtime fan, uh, can I get a loud, obnoxious group stovepipe that could wake the dead? Stovepipe! Fucking one gram dab, you won't. Oh, fuck, bud. Fuck, who's paying for that? Plus, fuck, I can't even do like a point one gram dab for fuck's sake, I sick myself. I mean, <laughs> I would really like to try some of the fucking hashes that they're smoking on the interwebs, eh? Like this fancy pant, really clear, like clear shit. Because, like, mine looks like piece of leather. Like a, it's disgusting. It is really harsh. It hurts my throat real bad. <laughs> Only sometimes there's terps into it, but not too much. But not too much. But, um, uh, is Buddy Van, do you smell that doodle, uh, going to mow your lawn this summer? You're welcome, Joshua. Fucker, eh? He's turning to son of a bitch. Yeah. Right? But, uh, yeah, I guess if fucking, uh, the swearing kid won't, but fucking, uh, what's his fucking channel? Speed Demon? Friggin' Hadley's or whatever? Mm. Something like that. Fucking, I see he's got the trapter out there fucking tore apart already. Eh? So it all tore he's apart again. He's not ever put back together yeah, from I last apologize. year. <laughs> But uh, one deadly one eight seven. Oh my goodness! For Van Doodle self on some of the comments, but big my part. Uh, the complete devastation on face and kicking the shit out of what sounded like what was one of those pinto-looking mustangs was friggin' funny as fuck, bud. Uh, can I get another one of those left-handed J hooks for the goose that deserved devastation? All left-handed J hooks. Holy fuck, that's weird. Uh, thanks, bud. Appreciate you uh, keeping the chooch, keeping the vids choochin' on both channels uh, through thick and thin cigarettes stove pipe. Dollar for BV's doodle, fucking uh, buddy. You should make dirty old Joshua change that pinwheel bit. Get some dirty looking different options on the wit word spin wheel options like Buddy Van Doodle's beard cheech. Um, dirty old bum whack, dick hair, smack chooch, and what not like that. All the current wheel positions are outdated. Beg my part, I need a stovepipe. Stovepipe. Well, fuck, man. I got other fucking shit I gotta do for fuck's <laughs> sakes, man. Fucking... Holy fuck! Why did you come here and make a new fucking wheel, bud? Yeah? Smart, so Put like fucking dicks and shit on it, and then when there's dicks on it, I get a 
fucking blowjob or something. You know what I mean? Who's doing that? I don't give a fuck who does it. I say Joshua. I'll fucking plow it in the cigarette butt lady's mouth. I don't give a fuck. Okay, tell her to take a couple puffs off my meat cigarette, right? That's what you do. Oh, it's, it's a meat cigarette. Just take a couple puffs off. Just like a... Okay, now try my meat cigarette. Eh? Just try my meat cigarette. Fucking ripper depends off. Eh? Just fucking clot. It. Fucking, it's just like a, looks like a bomb went off in her depends. Just fucking exploded the whole fucking passi part off her depends. And you got little fuck picks of fluffers, depends fluffers in your fucking it's like beard. Gnarl through the diaper. Yeah, it's just fucking disgusting. Why would you do such a thing, Joshua? Holy fuck, Fred knows about There's it. There's ladies your own age. Fred knows about it. Was I seen him busting the balls? Was he busting your balls when you went over there? No, he's asking why you're so mean, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell him because you're dicked? A little bit. What'd you tell yeah, him? He and then he's like, big pat on the back when I was walking. Mm. He's like, why is he so mean to you? Mm -hmm. He doesn't he like you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, he's the one who fucking. No, he's did... a ball buster, big guy. Oh, fuck, that's hilarious. Oh, who else was saying that? Who else said something? Donna? No. Oh, fuck. Why do you hang out with that guy? Nelson! Oh, Nelson. Yeah, he's like, why do you hang out with that guy? He's Deckard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck sakes, Nelson. I'll fucking beat the living shit out of you. <laughs> fuck, I couldn't believe how frail he was, eh? He's just like... Fucking, oh my goodness. He needs a sandwich. Yeah, he needs, he needs something. Holy mm -hmm. fuck. But, um, oh, dollar for BV's doodle again. This is a uh, message for B BVD's. Uh, pug, message for BVD's. Pug, you got to start making dirty old Joshua's take colder showers. He needs to stop using so much hot water to attempt washing the stink out of his terps infested beard hair. Uh, we noticed it in America's as there's a shortage of hot water because Buddy Van Dudo can't get the stink out of his satchel from burning everyone's eyes out. Holy Fuck! I will take one gram of what you're on. Yeah. Please. P.O. Box 98, Inwood, Ontario. Yeah. What? N-O-N, one K-O. Fuck me. Only one, I don't want to get addicted. Whatever the fuck that is. I don't want to get fucking white powder addicted. But I will try some. Thank you. I never piece you fuck. Right into the show, There's boy. no <laughs> even fucking weed, man. There's no even weed today. Fucking. Oh, there's no even weed today. You fucking idiot, Josh. All right. Why do you hang out with me, man? I'm decked, right? Why am I so mean to you? You're decked. Because I'm decked. <coughs> Let's take a survey. Beat red. Let's take a survey. Okay. After, after bailing out on me on wood already and this and that and blah blah and stole pipes your sister and, and whatever and fucking still doesn't doesn't get beat up, still eats every day, still fucking hasn't been fucked with while he's sleeping. That I know of. You'd fucking know. <laughs> fucking. We don't even harass you that much. Anymore. I was up for nine in the morning to fucking do wood till one. Could then the up. fucking then the fucking Doodle go Goody sleep is 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 over as soon as soon as fucking all the heavy lifting's done. You woke me it's up. It's almost like you've been ah. searching in the cupboards for the booze. And hmm. Booze and pills. Yeah, it's like you're up all night fucking just ransacking our shit, fucking. Holy fuck. 
Hey, remember your lines? Remember your lines yesterday? June two or two. Oh. <laughs> hey. Oh, that was good though. What? What? If anybody knows a better fucking way, I'd be glad to fucking hear it. Okay, I'm not saying my way is the best way. I'm open to fucking, you know, other fucking options. You know, it's Crack just this, yeah, like, I mean, it's either we put hands on them or we be as mean to them. It's like, I mean, I can emotionally scar his yeah. feeling or I can physically scar his face. What would you rather have? I, I, I probably, the, the physical scars to your face would hurt less, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they? Emotional is an everyday It's deep. Feeling. Yeah, it's deep inside your body. It's fresh every day. Those are common when the fucking jumps mm -hmm. get crazy enough. Yep, right on. But anyways, again, I apologize for, you know, anybody who fucking did listen to, well, any of that really was just fucked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's all for entertainment. Very little of it serious. I mean, the fucking, the whole fucking thing with the fucking new, new drug called Shatter thing. That's, I'm not joking, man. That's fucking bullshit, but. You know, most part, you know, jokes about carrying on. Life's so serious, always. We just want to have some fun time. It's like, I mean, it's like, oh, what, okay, listen. If I make videos where I don't bust balls, what in the fuck are you watching my shit for, really? Mm -hmm. To fucking talk and sound like every other fucking idiot that ever made a fucking video on fucking YouTube? Mm, me, okay. Me, them, not same. So, if that's what you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. Just saying. But, uh, yeah, we almost killed a guy today. Tried. Gave her, gave her a good go. He survived. Yeah. So, that's pretty much fucking bullshit. Fucking, uh, soon. Soon. We're, you know, we got a couple of ideas. But, uh. They could see a picture of the jump on my Instagram. Yeah, you should go to the old lady's Instagram. Get a serious picture of the jump there. But, One um. life. Um, he did. I'm not fucking joking. A mini bike jump. Peg grind on the top of a fridge. Yeah. Like, that's only in Canada. I don't give a fuck, man. I, like, I'd never seen nothing like that before. Like, what the fuck's I mean, really going it's... on? Yeah. Like, I mean, we're going to take it on tour, but, you know... America's, you know, it's not very nice of Pug One sometimes, and, you know, so it's probably not going to be in America's anytime soon, but, I, you know, I think we can take it on a Cross Canada tour. You know, we get a bunch of fucking dicks, and get a bunch of liquor, and a bunch of hash, and fucking, you know, a bunch of tools, and a bus, and a couple, you know, rigs. We've got two, three, four rigs going, a couple mini bikes, a couple, couple fucking, you know jumps and a trailer full of fucking jumps and stuff. We gotta make these portable, build, you know, build them in yeah. different words, you know. The ones they got now, the way they stack, mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah, we need like we more, more like that. Chair, that one. We need a tour mm -hmm. bus. Yeah, we just need a tour bus and, uh, you know, a couple, I mean, once I see the fence guy, several hundred thousand dollars in damage, I figure we're gonna buy a tour bus and, uh, you know, that's how we're gonna get started. Yeah. What? Fucking goop. Ah! <laughs> fuck sakes! <laughs> Any words, fucking, uh. To be there. Yeah, oh, fuck. So you should just shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck. Fucking what? <laughs> Any words, um. Yeah, bit love for the haters too, you know, you're you know, you're paying the bills, appreciate it, fucking um Let's grow a brain a little bit sometimes. Yeah, you know, I mean still still comment your horseshit, but fuck man. Think about what you're actually. Yeah, saying. like I mean a little bit it's like what if what if somebody found out who you were? Then they'd be like, you know, they could associate your like you with these those this comments that you're making, it's like holy fuck man, like that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Like, it's gotta be, that's gotta be fraudulent. You know, nobody could actually be 
it just blows my mind that someone would actually go out of their way in their life to yeah, be an asshole. Man, it's like, it's like, I mean, they, they're crazy. It's like, I don't know. It's like, they must not have jobs. They must not sleep very often. You're the one without a job. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, fuck. Mm. Yeah, for sure. For sure. If I had a job, I would make a quarter of what I fucking make and I would have to fucking be somebody's bitch. Fuck that. You know what I mean? So yeah, like I, uh, there's, there's just, there's no way that I mean that. Oh fuck this and that about you don't even have a job and stuff. There's no way you could actually be saying that stuff. Like and you know you're jealous as fuck. That's what that tells me. You know it's like yeah I don't have a job. I don't want a job. I haven't worked since 2003 because I don't fucking want to. But this is my job right now. I'm working. I just smoked a whole bunch of dope. Working. That's my job. I told somebody today, I said, you mad, bro? Hey, because you said, fucking this guy, fucking this lad, well, it's smoking dope, he gets paid. What's really going on? Yeah. You don't like it? Fuck off. Are you serious? Mm. Holy shit. What the fuck? Eh? Well, yeah, I mean, we're good, good. truck mouth's good, too. He's good at getting the goose yeah. going, eh? Yeah. You fucking, it's like he, I don't know, I... I would think that he's doing it on purpose. Eh? If I didn't know any better, if I didn't know any better, I'd say he's doing it on purpose. Eh? Slut. Made my part! But anyways, boys, this is probably a fucking, oh yeah, this is a longer response line, man. Holy fuck, did you guys ever get a fucking good one tonight? Eh? Made my part! Made my part. <laughs> 42 minutes. But anyways, boys, fucking, I gotta go in accordance to fucking four gigs of fucking uh, footage and stuff, and then it's got a chooch and stuff, and it takes a minute, and oh, like, fuck. Big man. face! But anyways, there you go, another episode. So until tomorrow, keep her medicated.